Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x minus 6 to the power 4, then plus x minus 8 to the power 4, this is equal to 16. So, what are the values of x, given that x is not equal to 0? So, let's prevent the solution from here. Now, we have x minus 6 raised to the power of 4, then plus, here we have x minus 8 raised to the power of 4. We can express x minus 8 as x minus 6 minus 2 raised to the power of 4. This is equal to 16. The next step is that we have here x minus 6, and here we have x minus 6. So we can let x minus 6 be equal to u. Substituting u into this equation, we have u to the power of 4, then plus u minus 2 to the power of 4. This is equal to 16. Now, the next step is that we have u to the power of 4 plus we can express u minus 2 to the power of 4. This is the same thing as u minus 2 to the power of 2, then raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 16. Now, u minus 2 to the power of 2, this is in the form of a minus b raised to the power of 2, which we can express as a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. Applying this algebraic identity, then here we have u to the power of 4, then plus. Now, here we have u squared minus 4u, then plus 4. Everything here raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 16. Now, the next step is that u to the power of 2 minus 4u plus 4 raised to the power of 2. This is in the form of a plus b plus c raised to the power of 2. And this can be expressed as a squared plus b squared, then plus c squared, then plus, here we have 2ab, then plus 2b, c, then plus 2 a multiplied by c. Now applying this property, then here we have u to the power of 4, then plus, now here we have u squared to the power of 2, then plus minus 4u to the power of 2, then plus 4 squared, then plus we have 2 times a, which is u squared, then times minus 4u, then plus here we have 2 times minus 4u, then times 4, then plus we have 2 multiplied by u squared, then multiplied by 4, then this is equal to 16. So here we have u to the power of 4, u to the power of 4, then plus u to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2, this is u to the power of 4, then minus 4u raised to the power of 2, this is plus 16, u to the power of 2, then plus 4 squared, this is equal to 16. Then here we have minus 4u times 2 times u squared, so this is minus... 8 u to the power of 3 then we have now we have here 2 times minus 4 u times 4 so this is essentially equal to minus 32 u then we have here plus 4 times 2 which is 8 then times u squared which is 8 u squared then this is equal to 16 
Now here we have u to the power of 4 plus u to the power of 4. This is 2u to the power of 4. Now we have minus, here we have minus 8 u to the power of 3. Now we have 16 u squared plus 8 u squared and this is plus 24 u to the power of 2. Now we have plus 16 here and we have 16 on the right hand side. So 16 and 16 here simplifies. And then now we have minus 32u. This is equal to 0. Now the next step from here. Then we have that 2u is common here. So we can factor out 2u into the parentheses. Here we have u to the power of 3 minus here we have 4 u to the power of 2 then now here we have this is plus 12 u then subtract now here that 2u this becomes 16 subtract 16 this is equal to 0 now here we have two parts we have that the first part here is 2u this is equal to 0 and the second part here we have a cubic function here which is u to the power of 3 minus 4 u squared plus 12 u subtract 16 this is equal to to 0 from the first part here we have that if we divide both sides by 2 then we have that u is equal to 0. Now, if you recall, if you recall, we are saying that let x minus 6 to be equal to u. Substituting this from the first part here, then we have x minus 6, this is equal to, to 0. So we have that x1 is equal to 6. So this is the value of x1. Now the second part here, we have a cubic function or polynomial of degree 3, which is u to the power of 3 minus 4 to the power of 4 u to the power of 2, then plus 12 u subtract 16, this is equal to 0. Now to solve this cubic function here, we can apply the rational root theorem whereby we can check u equal to 2 here so that now if we plug in 2 here let's check if this function is equal to 0 so here we have 2 to the power of 3 minus 4 multiplied by 2 squared which is 4 here then plus 12 multiplied by 2 then minus 16 this is equal to, to 0 so 2 to the power of 3, this is 8, minus 4 times 4, this is 16, then plus, here we have 12 times 2, this is 24, then minus 16, this should be equal to, to 0. So 8 minus 16, this is minus 8, then we have 24, minus 16, this is plus 8, this is equal to, to 0. Minus 8 plus 8, this is equal to 0, and this is equal to 0. So this means that u2 equal to 2, this is the second value. Now we can solve for x from here. Remember x is, we have x minus 6, this is equal to u, and u is equal to 2. So this implies that the second value of x, which is x2, this is equal to 2. Let's take minus 6 on the right hand side, so we have plus 6. And this implies that x2 here is equal to 2 plus 6, which is equal to 8. Now, we have x1 and x2. So, given that u2 is equal to 2, then we can use synthetic division to solve for the other values of u. Now, since u2, which is equal to 2, we can solve this cubic function by synthetic division here. So that now, we have one of the roots here, which is 2. So we have 2 here.
Then now, the coefficient of this cubic function, we have the co coefficient of u to the power of 3 is 1. The coefficient of u to the power of 2, this is minus 4. The coefficient of u is 12. Then the constant here is minus 16. So now, let's drop this one here. So that now, here we have 2 times 1, this is 2. So let's sum minus 4 plus 2, this is minus 2. Then minus 2 times 2, this is minus 4. So let's again sum here. So we have 12 plus minus 4, this is equal to 8. Again we have 8 times 2, this is equal to 16. So we have minus 16 plus 16, this is equal to, to 0. So these are the coefficients, these are the coefficients of the quadratic equation. These are the coefficients of the quadratic equation. Now, so we have that the quadratic equation here is u squared minus 2u, then plus c which is 8, this is equal to, to 0. This is a quadratic equation of the form a u squared plus b u plus c, this is equal to, to 0. From this quadratic equation, we have that a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 2, and that c is equal to 8. Now, applying the quadratic formula here, we can solve for u1, comma u2, or rather we can call this u3 and u4 by applying the quadratic formula which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac everything here divided by 2 times a let's substitute the values of a b and c so that now here we have minus minus 2 plus or minus the square root of minus 2 raised to the power of 2 Subtract 4 times a, which is 1, then times c, which is 8. Everything here divided by 2 times 1. Now here we have minus times minus 2. This is 2 plus or minus the square root of minus 2 squared. This is 4 minus 8 times 4. This is 32. Everything here divided by 2. So now here we have, this is 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 32. This is minus 28. Everything here divided by 2. Now we can express the square root of minus 28. This is the same thing as 2 plus or minus the square root of, this is 4 multiplied by 7 times minus 1. Everything here divided by 2. And this implies that here we have 2 plus or minus the square root of 4. This is 2. The square root of minus 1. This is i. Then we have square root of 7. Everything here divided by 2. Since 2 is common here, then we can factor out 2 so that we have 2 into the parentheses. This is 1 plus or minus the square root of 7, i, then everything here divided by 2. So if we simplify here, then here we have 1 plus or minus the square root of 7, i. So this implies that u3, comma u4, this is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 7 here, then i. Now, Again here, we have that x minus 6, this is equal to u. So we can express x, that is x minus 6, this is equal to, now u3 in this case is equal to 1 plus square root of 7, i. So to solve for x3 here, let's take minus 6 on the right hand side. So that we have 1 plus square root of 7i. 
10 plus 6. And therefore, we have x3 is equal to 1 plus 6. This is equal to 7 plus square root of 7 i. So this is x3. Now let's solve for x4. Remember we have x minus 6. This is equal to, now we have 1 subtract square root of 7 i. So we have that x4 here is equal to 1 minus square root of 7 i. Then we have plus 6. This implies that x4 here is equal to 1 plus 6. This is 7 minus square root of 7 i. And this implies that we have four solutions to this algebra problem. We have four solutions here. We've seen that we have four solutions. Now, we have that x1 is equal to 6. And we have that x2 is equal to 8. Now, we have that x3 here is equal to 7 plus square root of 7 i and then we have x4 is equal to 7 subtract square root of 7 i so these are two complex solutions these are two complex solutions and we have that x1 and x2 these are two real solutions so can you follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. Please subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.